with Father's Day around the corner, as unschooling mom to mom, I thought we could give a nod to the dads. I know all these manufactured greeting card holidays and lots of families are single mom families or all kinds of family configurations. So I don't presume that everyone's family looks alike. And even in our family, my husband really didn't like Father's Day and the hoopla that went around with it. He bought what he wanted for himself and didn't need the kids or me to do it. It felt forced to him. And maybe his love language wasn't gifts. <laughs> I don't know. But some dads are the primary unschooling parent. And that's a really cool dynamic to have dads actively involved in the day-to-day -day connections. That's great. And some unschooling dads provide their support by going off to work and making sure there's funding for the activities and supplies that kids need to keep exploring and following all those curiosities. Now, some dads wouldn't really want to consider themselves unschooling dads. They're not on board yet. They still have a lot of fears about this unschooling approach and haven't devoted a lot of time to unpacking all of that. I did a podcast last year, number 13, when dad's not on board with unschooling. So if this is the scenario at your house, you may want to pop over to that podcast when this is done. I included some specific things you could do to help dad, the dad in your world feel more connected and overcome their fears, because that's really what it's all about, right? Being afraid that they're not going to be successful in life down the road. And of course, everyone defines successful differently. Or maybe they just haven't given a lot of thought to this idea that society has moved away from the factory style worker approach, you know, while schools are still stuck in that framework. I think I mentioned this book last time, but I want to mention it again. It was an eye opener for one of the dads in my private membership group. It's called Most Likely to Succeed, Preparing Our Kids for the Innovation Era. It's over at Amazon. If you want to get it, it's really great. And if we can help dads feel more connected, they'll see that the kids are learning all sorts of things that may be the role unschooling moms have to take for a little while, identifying and suggesting activities that would help the dads and kids connect more making time for that to happen. It doesn't have to be some all-day hike. <laughs> Maybe it's a game night. Or use those conversation cards I created. You could use them at dinner time. And that could help dad get a little insight into how the kids are thinking. And sometimes dads don't need us to swoop in and fix things. So many of us have a habit of doing this. But maybe we can give them time to find their way too. Maybe they'll find something to connect some way that we hadn't even considered. Talking about connection and communication and playing together might be useful. Just to bring it to the front of dad's mind. Remind them that kids learn through play and seeing that in action may help them understand what the next steps might be for connecting. Now, just as we listen to our kids to see where we can help, that's probably good to do with dads too. Don't make the presumption that you know what's going on in his head. Ask, listen to the answer. Maybe you had that fear once too. If you'd like to dive deeper into how to do this or ways other unschooling parents have connected when one is into unschooling and the other isn't yet, you could join us in the membership group. We can do that together, helping you brainstorm and maybe helping you see where the issue actually is. I have a few great dad memes that I'll put over in the blog, the blog post for you. Actually, I think I have like 50 of them over the years. <laughs> I've been including them at Instagram and Facebook. And I'll link to other articles about dads and unschooling, including one from my own husband. He didn't actually write it, but he dictated it to me. <laughs> Our kids were nearly grown at the time, and he listed all the cool things he got to do with them that would have never happened if he had insisted on sending them to school. The essay was included in Skylar Collins' book, Unschooling Dads, and you could get that if you'd like to hear other dad perspectives.
I can put links to all of this at the Unschooling Mom to Mom blog. So happy Father's Day to all the dads out there supporting us and helping our kids have awesome childhoods. Thank you. And I'll be back next week to talk with you all again.